Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I am AKS Rasvi, Jivan Academy and Duty Educator. So learners, on this video, on this session, I have 15 questions with a detailed analysis. These all questions are based on classical criticism and contemporary literary theories. So learners, stay tuned with the video till the end and enjoy learners a best learning on English literature. Let us, if you are interested in my courses, so you can also join my paid courses on an academy, the learning application. You can join me for free and paid both kind of classes. I have already started a new batch, a fresh batch. And let us, I'm going to start it from unit one to four. So one, two, three, and four. So this will be a wonderful thing for you. Now, learners, uh, these are the plans you can see on your screen, and here is the first one question on your screen, learners. So, this one is the very first question of the session. The concept of bipolar is developed by Fis, Foucault, Derrida, or Paul D. Mann. So, learners, you have these four options, and out of these four, select one, please. Now, learners, on your screen, you can see the correct answer. So, learners, here is the correct answer. It's B. Michel Foucault, learners. So, see the notable ideas given by Michel Foucault. Bipolar, uh, learners, this is known as biopolitics, bipolar or biopolitics, learners. Then, see another one. So, this is discipline, reinstitution. Another one term introduced by Michel Foucault. Then let us discourse analysis. This is also a term given by Michel Foucault. And then let us heterotopia. Let us please one question for you. Who has given the term heteroglossia? Let us please do write your answer on comment box. So let us see heterotopia. So this is the term introduced by Michel Foucault. Power and knowledge. So let us power and knowledge. This is the concept given by Michel Foucault. Panopticism. So let us, these all are the term given by Michel Foucault. Bipolar. Then see let us, disciplinary institution. Discourse analysis. Then heterotopia and power and knowledge. And then let us, last one, this is panopticism. These are the most important term given by Michel Foucault, one of the gay great theorists of modern time period. Now see the next one. So here is the next one. Which of the following thinker or concept pair is correctly matched? Fry, mysticism, Derrida, deconstruction, I. A. Richard, archetypal criticism, and then let us see Egelton psycho and uh, psychological criticism. So let us please do select the right one matching pair, please. So see, here is the correct answer on your screen. So let us, yes, this one is the correct answer. As you can see, it's a B. Derrida. Let us North of Fry. So Fry is known for what? So let us North of Fry is known for archetypal criticism. Okay, let us and Derrida is known for deconstruction. So let us this one is this one is rightly masked. Fry is known for mysticism. Then see letters Derrida for deconstruction. I a Richard for archetypal criticism. No. Egelton for psycho psychological criticism. So learners, no. Psychological criticism was introduced by Sigmund Freud. Then let us see Derrida. So this one is rightly matched and just these three not correctly matched. So Derrida, deconstruction, correctly matched pair. See the next one. Madness and Civilization. A History of Insanity in the Age of Reason, 1961 is a well-known book by so, Roman Jakobson, Jax Laka, and then see Michel Foucault or Jax Derrida. 
So do select the right one, please. So here is the right one answer on Jewish screen learners. So this one is the correct answer. It's C. Michel Foucault, Madness and Civilization. A History of Insanity in the Age of Reason 1961. So this is a work by whom? So this is a work by Michel Foucault. Let us see the, uh, the other works written by Michel Foucault. So let us, one is Madness and Civilization, The Order of Things, Discipline and Punish, and then see let us, The History of Sexuality. Let us, one of the most important work, let us, please, must remember works, The History of Sexuality by Michel Foucault. So these are the works by Michel Foucault you can see on your screen. Now let us see the next one. So here is the next one question. Match the authors under list 1 with the titles under list 2. So let us one side you can see these are the works and another side let us you can see so these are the authors. Of Gramtology, the Archaeology of Knowledge, Structural Anthropology, Anatomy of Criticism. So let us please, you can see Cloud Levy Strauss, Jacks Derrida, North of Fry, or Missile Foucault. So do select the right one answer, please let us. So now let us, you can see the correct answer on Joe Screen Learners. And if you have not liked it till now, the videos, let us please do like and do share with your friends. And if you have any kind of query regarding my classes, message me on my number. See the right answer, let us. It's the third one. Let us off Gramtology. So this is the work by whom, so let us. This is by Jax Derrida. So let us first two, second one. See the matching, let us. So first two, second one. So let us first, first, first. You can see, let us, so on two, three options. Now see let us archaeology of knowledge and structural anthropology and then see anatomy of criticism. So let us anthropologist who is anthropologist so Cloud Levy Strauss. So third to first one. So see let us third to first one. Where is third to first one? So let us yes third first you can see let us. So uh, yes on fourth one option let us. And then see the archaeology of knowledge and anatomy of criticism. So anatomy of criticism by not a fry. And then let us see archaeology of knowledge. So this is by Michel Foucault. So this is the right matching learners. Right combination you can see. The right combination on Joe's screen. Here is the next one. Who among the following English playwright died of cancer? Harold Pinter. Ellen Bennett, then Carol Churchill, Alanis C. Tom Stippard. So these are the options. So do select the right one, please. So now, Alanis, you can see the correct answer. So here is the correct answer. So it's the first one, Harold Pinter. Alanis Harold Pinter is known for his absurdist playwriting. Alanis is known as one of the best absurd playwright. His birthday party, one of the best play. And on birthday party, you can see the character like Stanley Fis is there. Ellen Bennett. So, let us, yes, uh, uh, this one is not correct. And Carol Searchy, not correct. And Tom Stippard, not correct. So, let us, this is what you can see died of cancer, Harold Pinter. He was died of cancer. Let us, please, you must remember. Harold Pinter, he was a playwright, a screenwriter, and is one of the best figure from modern era. Let us, I think, every time you are going to see a question based on Harold Pinter on your UGC net exam. Now see the next one. So here is the next one. Let us, this one is also a matching one. So because I could not stop for death. Oh, Captain, my Captain, two roads divorced in a boat. So much depends upon. Then let us see Robert Frost, William Callas, Williams, Emily Dickinson, Walt Whitman. So do select the right combination. Okay, let us now I am going to show you correct answer. If I am a little bit faster, let us do pause the video 
and you can match. See the correct answer, learners. Because I could not stop for death. So, learners, I think this is a work by Emily Dickinson. Because, learners, Emily Dickinson known for confessional poetry. So, learners, first two, third one. Then see, O oh, Captain, my captain. So, O oh, Captain, my captain, directly learners associated with Walt Whitman. Then let us see two roads diverged in a wood. So let us yes, these are the lines associated with Robert Frost. And so much depends upon, so these are the lines associated with William Carlos Williams. Let us see if you are confused from which poem these lines has been taken. So my request, let us please do share these lines because I could not stop for them. Oh, okay, Captain, my captain, two roads diverged in a wood. And so much depends upon. So please do search. Now see the next one. So here is the next one question. The epitaph on her tomb is tone that Emily Dickinson composed herself reads. The list is done. Redemption, brittle lady, judge tenderly of me, a called back. So learn us which one is the correct answer. Do select the right one, please. Okay, let us, so now I'm going to show you correct answer. So here is the correct answer. It's fourth one called back. So on Dickinson's Tom Stone, these are the words encrypted called back letters. So after that, on Tom Stone, you can see the words called back on Emily Dickinson. See the next one, letters. We are likely to misunderstand an Emily Dickinson's poem. If we take her famous dashes to be. Let us one thing I would like to inform learners as I have already promised in the beginning of the video that I am going to cover criticism part. So let us do not uh, be impassioned. Let us uh, later on you are going to see the questions based on criticism. So which one is the correct answer learners? Please do select the right one. Quite specific and unambiguous, ambiguous and un, uh, sorry indeterminate. Suggestive of both forward and backward movement in the terms of sense. Suggestive of links but equivocally. So, runners, please do select the right one. So, here is the right one answer, runners. Quite specific and unambiguous. So, runners, yes, this is what, this is the correct answer on your screen. Here is the next one question. So, match the following. The Sage of Concord, the Nun of Amherst, Mark Twain, or Old Bosham, Emily Dickinson, R. W. Emerson, and T. S. Eliot. So, let us please do a match and then Samuel Clemens too. Okay, let us now I'm going to show you correct answer. So, this is the correct answer on your screen. You can see. So, Sage of Concord. So, let us Sage of Concord is known. Who is known as? So, let us yes, this is R. W. Emerson. Eleanor's who is known as Sage of Highgate. This is a question for you learners. Please do write the answer on comment box. So let us R. W. Emerson, the nun of Emerhurst, so who is known as nun of Emerhurst. So let us correct answer is Emily Dickinson. Okay, so let us as you can see, first one is the correct answer. So one, two, six, I have already matched. Second to fifth, so let us I have already matched, and then Mark Twins. So, Shamuel Clemens, Mark Twain, so this is to Shamuel Clemens. Then Old Portion, so who is known as Old Portion, so this is T.S. Eliot. So, correct answer, and as you can see on your screen, this one is the correct answer. Must remember, learners, because with one question, you are going to understand eight points. Now, see the next one. Who among the following has selected the theme of xenophobia in his writing? Henry James, William Faulkner, Jack Lenton, or Ernest Hemingway. So, which one is the correct answer? Do select the right one and mention on comment box, please. So, here is the correct answer, Ernest, on your screen. So, this one is first one, Henry James. Henry James, learners, he is known for xenophobia. What does it mean, learners, xenophobia? So, this is a kind of fear from uh, learners, foreigners. 
Uh, not only as you can see, Henry James is also known for his one of the wonderful work, the portrait of a lady that was appeared in 1881. And another one, another one work, so that uh, the name of the work is The Turn of the Screw, 1898. So these are the best known works by Henry James. See the next one, learners. So here is the next one question. Select the matching pairs, friendships, garland, and non. The Princess Browning, Hugh Sylvans, Moberly, so learners, this is Hopkins, The Excursion, Shan. So please do select the right one here, please. Now you can see the correct answer on Joy Screen Learners. It's the first one. Friendships Garland. So this is a work by Matthew Arnold, a Victorian poet. Then let us see the princess. So this is not correctly matched because learners, the princess. So this is a work by whom? So learners, this is by Tanisha. T-E-N-N-Y-S-O-N. Tanisha. Then see Hugh Sylvian Marbury. So learners, this is not by Hopkins. But this is by whom, children? This is by Pound, Ezra Pound, Ezra Pound, learners. E Z R A, Ezra Pound. And then let us see the excursion, not by Shelley, but this is by W W. It means William Wordsworth. So this one will be the right matching letters. So correct answer is uh, Friendships Garland by Matthew Arnold. Here is the next one. Select the matching pairs. Middle March, picaresque one, Women in Love, historical work, Pamela, epistolary novel, and Pride and Prejudice, Solonis autobiographical. So, which one is the correct answer, Solonis? Please do select the right one. So, here is the answer on Joy Screen Learners. I think this is quite easy, easy one, Bala question. Now see the correct answer. So here is the correct answer, learners. It's uh, C. Pamela Epistolary Novel. Learners, Middle March, the subtitle of this work is A Study of Provincial Life. Middle March, A Study of Provincial Life. Learners, please, you must remember because in your UGC net exam, this may be the question. Learners, the work was appeared in 1871 to 1872. In installment, and this is a work by George Eliot, Mary and Evans, and the work that is set in English Midland Town. Setting of the work is English Midland Town. A women in Love. So let us Women in Love. This is a work by D. H. Lawrence, David Herbert Lawrence. Let us David Herbert Lawrence. He is known for his Best work like uh, Women in Love, The Rando, Lady Chatty's Lover, White Pika, Kangaroo, and other works, Sons and Lovers, too. Women in Love, Learners, that was appeared in 1920. This is the sequel of earlier work, his earlier work named Rando, Learners, 1915. Learners, he is going to follow the history of Brangwen family. Gudrun and Ursula Brangman's learners, two, two Brangman sisters are there and their relationship. One of them, uh, uh, just Gudrun learners, one of them artist. So, uh, she pursues a destructive relationship with whom? So, Gerald Courage, an industrialist. See the uh, Pamela learners about Pamela. So, Pamela is a word by whom? So, learners, this is by Richardson. Uh, Richardson, Fielding. Eastern and Smollett. Richardson, Fielding, Eastern and Smollett. R F S M. So let us Richardson, Fielding and Eastern and Smollett known as the four wheel of novel. Four wheels of novel. Like seven university wheels. Okay, let us. So let us Pamela. This is the work by Richardson. And this is known as first work, true novel, first true novel in English. Let us, before this particular work, you can see uh, Robinson Crusoe is there, Don Quixote is there, Unfortunate Traveler is there, but let us Richardson's Pamela, this is known as the first 
true English novel. The novel is written in epistolary format and appeared, it was appeared in 1740. As well as 18th century is known as the age of prose and reason quoted Matthew Arnold. So that is really true in the series. Now see Pride and Prejudice. So about Pride and Prejudice, let us a few facts. The Pride and Prejudice, this is a romantic novel by Jan Austen. This is a domestic novel. The novel is based on two characters, Elizabeth and then known as Darcy. Elizabeth Bennet and Darcy. Elizabeth and known as C has other sisters too. Lydia Wickham episode appears on this particular work. The work was firstly entitled as First Impression. First impression and the novel was appeared in 1813, 1813 letters. And the most important lines from this particular book, you can see letters, it is universally truth and acknowledge something like this letters. So these are the opening lines from this particular novel. Now see the next one. Who among the following proposed that first Gulf War had never taken place? It was simply a hyperreal media generated a spectacle. Richard Rotti or Jean Francois Letard, Jean Baudrillard or Umberto Eco. Students, please do select the right one. So, here is the right one answer, students, on Jewish screen. So, it's Jean Baudrillard. Jean Baudrillard, he claimed that uh, First Gulf War was never taken place. And he was a French sociologist, a philosopher, and even learners, he was also a cultural theorist, learners, a cultural studies theorist. Okay, learners, and he is known for his best analysis of media and contemporary culture, and even learners, com uh, communication technological issues, and learners, even for hyper reality, he, he was also known for what? For hyper reality learners, yes. Now see the next one, which of the following novels by Nuruddin Farah deals with foreign aid, maps, gifts, secrets or links? So do select the right one answer, please. So here is the right answer and as you can see on Joe's screen, which of the following novels by Nuruddin Farah deals with the foreign aid? So let us see its second one, Gifts. Let us, this is known as Blood in the Sun Trilogy by Nuruddin Farah. These are the three work learners, Maps, Gifts and Secrets. Maps was appeared in 1986, Gifts was appeared in 1992 and Secrets was appeared in 1998. On maps, learners, you can see a character is there named Akshar, A-K-A-S-K-R, Askar. So, learners, this is a character that appears in on maps by Nuruddin Farah. And learners, on gifts, so you can see this is a tale based on a Somali family. You can see a character named Dunia, D-U-N-I-A, a single mother and then is, she has twins too and works as a nurse and then is even for uh, Mogadiscio hospitals. Then is, so even uh, she works as a, uh, uh, just as a nurse in a hospital. Then secrets. So then is, this is a third one work, the last one work in Blood in Sun Trilogy. Let us this also, this particular work is also based on Somalia. And let us, yes, this is the, the, the setting of this particular work takes place during civil war in Somalia. And Kalaman, let us, Kalaman is a character that appears on this particular work. Now see the next one. So here is, uh, I'm really sorry learners. So thank you so much learners for tuning with this video. On next class learners, I will take you to better questions. Stay tuned with this Rajveer. Keep on learning learners and if you are interested in my courses, so I would like to inform at the end of the video about my program. So learners, yes, 
I am an Unacademy and YouTube Educator Learner. So what does it mean? Because learners, I am teaching you live at an Academy class. The best platform learners with single subscription, you can enjoy unlimited classes for both the paper, paper 1 and paper 2 as well. Learners, my classes having clear cut notes, complete complete learners analysis, summary and learners all the PDF from first to last learners. I am going to cover entire syllabus within time. Uh, right now learners for July month, I am going to cover unit 1, 2, 3, 4. So learners if you are interested, so do join these classes and learners I think surely I am 100% sure you are going to get benefit. A lot of benefit learners not only in your UGC net exam but on your different exams like TZT, PZT, SET, NET or any other lecturership or professorship exam. So thank you so much learners for still dealing with me. Next video, Jaldi hi learners aapke sir aapko milne wala hai. Do like the video and share with your friends. Thank you so much learners once more.